going on guys so it's thursday my day off so so it's been a while since uh, we've done a junkyard walk around so uh today uh today we're gonna be taking a trip to the picker part in santa fe springs uh there's a couple of honda accord manuals that are there that honestly i wish i could go get uh the flywheel and the flywheel bolts but uh to do it alone it's a bitch so I'm just gonna go ahead and walk around. There's a couple of cords, there's a couple of RSX I might wanna see if they're still there. And just kind of show around, you know, see what parts see what parts are left. So uh, you know, get us out of the house, out into the playground and uh, you know we might see we might score something, we might see something interesting, so I guess we'll go from there. Finally made it here to the picker part and uh, there's a Honda Accord and row uh, too so that's over there i doubt we're gonna see anything but that doesn't hurt to check older honda accord honda civic d16 y7 i think there's something i need out of here i just don't know what it is There you go, Honda Accord. Automatic. What year? 2005. We can probably use the ECU out of this, but uh, not right now. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go to row four. Look at another Honda Accord. Huh? Look, Honda Civic. Another one. So uh, someone said I might need the air temp sensor, so I grabbed that. Uh, what for? That was a G35. Oh, cool. Yep. Uh, these are becoming more common at the junkyard. Uh, remind me that I may need to grab something out of this. There's a Honda Accord. This is a J series. Not what we're looking for. Keep going. Goes to RSX. I'm sure it's an automatic. And that's what's still here. 2005. Easy is right there. You could also use that. But pretty much took everything that we would probably want intake now this part is still good but um and look at this you can see the it's all burnt up nasty dang oh well there's another honda accord 2005 they did really open it up that's actually I might need that because I did break that off my other one so let me see if I can go ahead and grab that so I did remove the water housing water thermostat housing off that Honda it is Honda and uh, I'm gonna go check out this one see if it has it no they took it off so um, hopefully this works with the one I have Oh well, I mean I'd rather pay a few bucks here than to uh, have to buy a brand new. Uh, there's a couple of things I can take off that Accord, like the 
uh, the alternator i mean i don't need that now i can probably come back and snag some bolts and uh we'll kind of go from there so we'll just kind of keep walking fellas and see what else we see just real quick uh tsx unfortunately it's the j series so that's why it's still here all right guys so our next row is row seven and there should be a another honda accord so uh let's go ahead and try to find it this uh tsx and actually i might come back for that alternator kind of depends then i do like that it has a different thermostat housing so i may come back for that you know what i might get the whole cooling thing off the other one automatic and this one looks a lot cleaner actually alternator looks pretty freaking good intake manifold might consider snagging that alternator it looks pretty clean be back all right, not bad fellas so here's to go back i did previously take all this from another cord i did get the water pump housing they seem to kind of be similar anywho the reason i came to this one because it does have a dunzo oh, alternator and it looks pretty good condition so let's go ahead and take it oh shit can't leave that so basically this was the first water pump housing thermostat housing correct be correct that i got i grabbed this one off the 2005 and this one has this extension for the for the hose so i'm gonna need that so i'm gonna go ahead and took out the thermostat take this i am going to take the ultra oem alternator just because i do need it so uh i did grab some of the bolts I'm gonna go check out the TSX and see if uh, see if the bolts, the thermostat housing, are the same. So here goes the TSX. I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle some of this shit and just see how it looks. So basically, I took out the water pump housing. That's right there, and I compared it. So this is the one off the TSX. And you can see it's a GF35. I compared it to the Honda Accord one, which is PAA GF35, so the same one. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the one I took off the Honda Accord. Um, I was gonna try to take the water pump housing, but mine already has it. I think the main thing is just this. So now we're lugging around. It said the fucking stick shift should be here. You know what? Might be further down. Here goes another one. This one took a hit. Nope. Automatic. Keep walking. Could have swore this would be a stick shift somewhere. For a second, it looked like this one had a HKS, but uh, just a aftermarket one. Another Accord, automatic. Uh, not what we're looking for so i guess we'll keep walking my pants are falling and this alternator's pretty dang heavy here goes another hondo cord this one's automatic and valve covers there yep automatic guys so nothing we haven't seen before Where's that stick shift? CS RSX. I 
One thing I hate about the junkyard that sometimes when they tell you the cars are at, they're not there. Goes a smart car. Second time I see one here. Dang. Goes another Honda Accord. Let's see. Automatic. No need to fiddle with it. Let's keep walking. Integra. Self frame. All that good stuff is gone. Fire steam wreck is still there. Actually, the subframe is still there. Man, I could easily grab it. Damn. Valve cover. Actually, I don't have one of those, but I'll try to get one during like a special. Here goes another RSX. Has alternator. Has uh, thermostat housing. Automatic. And it goes the other one. Let's go check this one out. This one's automatic. Kind of curious if my thermostat fits in this one. Test out this water pump housing, the one I have off the cord. And it seems like it doesn't fit so i remember i did take a water pumping water pump housing out of an rxx so i'm just gonna go ahead and take the original one it shouldn't cost that much probably better than buying it from the dealer uh this one seems like it might have the harness got a little chopped up the charge harness is here Sorry guys, so I went ahead, took the thermostat housing just in case, and I did take the charge harness. I am missing one thing here that I need to figure out from the other RSX. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. That is something I do need, and I might as well get it. The engine harness is here. This one an automatic, and also I'm not sure if I can use the 2003. So I'm gonna do some research and keep looking. Uh, so unfortunately i won't be grabbing it today um there's some other stuff that i need but it's like deep in there and i can't really reach it so i'm not trying to spend all day i think i got enough stuff for today so and i think i left my 12 millimeter in the tsx so let's go let's go try to find that can't tell got the nice little wheels on it there it goes with Gino Mini D16 Y Y5. What the fuck? Uh, I don't see many more cars. I think a lot of the Hondas we checked out. So when it comes down to the RSX, it seems like the engine harnesses aren't intact, which is a good thing. So I used to do research to see if uh, if I can use them. Um, and now I'll see if I can tuck my boy Gino to get in it. Here goes another TSX, the K series in it. Not bad, not bad. Nice and complete. Oh, it's getting hot. I think I'm just gonna call it a day, guys. I didn't get a chance to find the stick shifts, which is unfortunate because they're not there where they say they're wearing to be at. So I think, so far, I think I might just call it a day because getting hot, haven't eaten. There's the X, calipers always gone. Rear spindles are still there. Yep. Rotors are gone. Pretty futuristic, eh? Another automatic. Yeah, I was saying that. The wheels can't be there. Yeah, because the calipers are gone. Uh, first thing that always disappears on these cars. So, I uh, gotta say, today was a good, uh, good day. We ended up getting the charge harness. 
um, alternator and also thermostat housings so a little quick walk around adjust my pants and I guess we'll just call it a day guys you know today just went from around the day is checking out what's here to actually finding some stuff that we need so not bad Celica right there pond zone and this one actually has a CT once guess you pond zone uh, it's kind of damaged right there though so let's keep walking that way I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day fellas I got more than I bargained for so I guess it's a good day and we're gonna get back to the car all right we're back outside guys so this is the conclusion of today's trip we got the 2005 uh, Honda Accord K24 alternator got the K24 water um, thermostat housing so right here we got the K20 A3 water pump housing just in case we did get the also the charge harness for it that's something that we do need for the case swap I did notice on this harness there was a piece missing right here which once I looked it up it was this this goes I got it off, off the other RSX just to complete it. So there we go. Now, and I also did get a lot of the OEM bolts and stuff like that that I needed. Get those back up. So today's damage was so alternator with the uh, $8 uh, non refundable warranty. Fucking the wrap. Fucking the charge harness. Now, this is the best part. Charge harness was uh, $5.64 plus. 169 core yeah and it's both thermostat housings were 759 uh, so with cores and all this other bullshit our end of the day was 8124 not bad <laughs>